And so I was like, I don't feel the same way that I felt like, you know, when I was 14, when I was, you know, very much into church, um, feeling that, you know, I was going to go to heaven. I was now feeling like there's just so much lies. There's so much, you know, manipulation going on. There was so much, you know, um, hate. There was a lot of hate in church, ironically enough, when they would preach to be light of the world and to be love and love the brothers and all united they present this united front but like in church when you're sitting down in the pews or like at home because of covid um you're listening to like all this hate like they're just like yeah "Yeah, like those people god was plucking out the weeds and that's why he was spit out of the church and like all these just like negative you know language and i was just sitting there feeling like you know very heavy very dark i felt like i was now going into like a depression because church was no longer a place of love and of happiness of you know promoting you know positivity it was now a place of like trying to like defend the way you know that people are attacking the church and it was just like it was no longer a happy place for me anymore and i couldn't feel like i had a genuine intent like connection with god so i'm like why am i going to church now like this just doesn't feel real this doesn't feel like you know a true apostle like I just feel like now he just scammed me and so you know I was just like I I can't see it anymore and the more I started researching on you know ex LDM reddit and um the way like of all the the financial like plays that they would do like you know kind of all these properties and you know cars vintage cars the ranches and all these things (laughs) started I went into that rabbit hole of like yeah. all the financial gain that they have benefited from the members. And like I said, when you go into the, as a missionary, you're like dirt poor. So I'm like, yeah. how are they profiting off of like people that are so vulnerable, that are so yes. like, are doing it because they love God and they love Jesus. And they think that, you know, you're this man that was sent by God, but yeah. you're really just taking advantage of their love for God. And so I started to become angry and like some LDM members have commented on my TikTok. So like, oh, you're so bitter. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is evil. It is evil what they're doing yes. to people. So I just couldn't feel like I was happy there anymore. And I'm like, I need to remove myself from this toxic environment of just constant bashing towards, yeah. you know, ex LDM members and making them yeah. feel like you know we're holier than thou and i was just like i couldn't go along with that anymore yeah and so that's when i was like you know what i'm just gonna kind of distance myself i started slowly like not i started sleeping through you know the prayers that my husband would put on <laughs> to kind of get yeah. out of it you know i think one thing that is so you know kind of tragic that happens in these high demand religions is like you know you mentioned a couple times them talking about how like you're bitter and you're saying all these things and you know, like you're just, you're, you're being so mean and so awful or whatever. And it's like, um, Mm -hmm. and I love how you were like, of course I'm bitter. And, but the reason you're (laughs) bitter is because you're compassionate for the general membership. You have so much compassion for them. You see them wearing their skirts and praying and going to church all the time and paying money to the church when they're financially hurting. And, that bitterness comes out of that love and compassion for the general member that's really suffering and doesn't realize that they're suffering. Um, Mm -hmm. So yes, you're bitter. And yeah, you got some good reasons to be right. That's the idea. (laughs) And and, uh, you have some good reasons to be, but they taint that they taint that the membership will taint that with like that bitterness is proof that, you know, Satan's involved or whatever. Right. At least that's how they view it in Mormonism. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for pointing that out. Because that was kind of like hard for me to really put into words in like in my TikToks yeah. because people are like, why are you spewing so much hate? Why are you, you know, yeah. um, you're, yes, you're spreading awareness, but you're promoting hate towards it. And I'm like, yeah. no, like, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, the hate that you guys see is the hypocrisies that I'm pointing out. And even right. you guys notice that it's not right. And you guys just label it as, as hate, but I'm really doing this because I see the injustices of the church. Like, I think everybody who is a member of LDM are victims. 
they truly are exactly exactly it's, it's like who's benefiting off of their love for god is the leaders is the apostle the group of bishops like they don't care of course they're gonna lie to you because as long as you hand them their their your books they don't care about your soul like yeah. so that's yeah. how kind of like i see it